I feel like God has put a heart of worship in me into, he's just, whenever he gives me a song, I believe it's, it's just a song of worship. And it's always in those moments uh, when I'm at home playing guitar, just kind of starting off worshiping and just kind of naturally goes there, I guess. Uh, when I sat down to write Beloved Arise, um, it was it was really on accident. I had no intention of, of writing in that moment. Um, I just started playing a few worship songs and flipping through some scripture. And then uh, in Matthew, it talks about uh, God calling Jesus his beloved and saying, here is my son um, for whom I am pleased with. He is my beloved. And, he was, and I thought of that beloved as a title for Jesus, as we would call him savior or, or any of those names. Um, so kind of just stuck with beloved and, and taking that and what had been happening in the, in the high school and middle school, it just seemed like he was just rising up and doing all kinds of things through them. Um, and I thought about that. Jesus, the beloved in our hearts, just rising up and like a, a call for, for movement on Jesus' part to just do something in us because we can't do it on our own. Whenever, whenever I'm singing that song, I do, I just, I have a picture of, of God just coming in and being like, all right, I'm taking over. You've asked me to take over and I will because you've asked me to. When I see people engage in that song and, and sing the words and when we hit the chorus and call out for the beloved to arise, um, and you can you physically see them stand or raise their hands or um, it shows that they're doing exactly what the song is asking for. They're, they're standing up, they're reaching out to him saying, rise up in me. I mean, they're, they're reaching for him, saying, come and move inside of me and rise up and take over.